If you want to change your slide design and edit, for instance, the font, colors, or images in your presentation, it works just like you're used to with normal PowerPoint slides. As you can see, after creating a multiple choice or open-ended question, the added slides automatically contain the Send Steps layout. However, you can change the slide design to your liking. Don't have time to create a killer template for your questions? Use one of the free templates made by SendSteps. For this tutorial, I'm going to edit my design according to the master slide. This means SendSteps will use the slide master that is present in my current presentation. As you can see, in this case, I'm using a TEDx slide master. You can edit your slide master by changing this within your PowerPoint. Just edit the slide in your slide master. If you're not working with a master slide, you could also edit your slide design on the slide itself. For example, you can add an image to your question slide. For instance, the font color or the line spacing. Just by clicking on the slide and choosing your preferred settings. You can also edit the text or answer options. And the results slide will automatically change too. For the results slides, SendSteps lets you choose how you want to display the responses as percentages or actual numbers. Set a time limit for voting or add recognizable background music from popular TV quiz shows to your vote. Good to know. It is also possible to just copy and paste the voting and results slide and use it in case you have another question. Do you have a strong brand identity and want to have all these settings automatically integrated in SendSteps for your employees? You can contact us for a branded solution. In case you are using an event application, it's also no problem to integrate SendSteps into your branded app. As you can see, SendSteps can customize the software to your own corporate identity. This way, all your employees can use SendSteps interactive slides in your own company layout. Even the whole add-in can be renamed to fit your organization. We hope this tutorial answers all your questions. If not, please feel free to contact us.